So remember the four-letter word that I showed off a while back? Well, it turns out there's a feature that I uh, forgot to mention about this weapon. Now, as I mentioned, four-barreled shotgun. Yes, you fire each barrel individually, but... See this little switch here? I press that. And it fires all of them at once. In a nice sonic boom fashion. Greetings, comrades. This is over here with Caleb, and welcome to another HD VR video. Today we're doing something a little different. Normally I talk about the guns and, you know, uh, goofing around with them and whatnot. But today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be showing off the different shotgun shells that are offered in this game. You can see we have 12 different shotgun shells to play around with. And uh, for this, we're going to be doing a little uh, Remington 870 MCS, as you can see right here. The MCS 870. You know, traditional Remington uh, shotgun with a... Uh, Nice little uh, pistol grip stock, a little picket tender on the top, and a few on the side in case you want to put on a laser sight. But anyway, we got quite a few shotguns. We have 12 different shotgun shells. We have double lot buckshot, the most common. Then we have number two buckshot, number four buckshot. Then we got slug, triple hit, flechette rounds, dragon's breath, flare, the swag 12FA, the swag 12HE, the freedom fetty, and the cannonball. So I'm whopping 12 different shotgun shells. And uh, we're going to be showing off one at a time, explain them a little bit, and uh, have some fun. So let's get started. Okay, so first we have the more common uh, shotgun shell, double up buck shots. Basically 10 pellets. Very useful for close quarters combat. You have the 870, 5 in the tube, 1 in the chamber. So, one more shell. And yeah, this is what you normally spawn with in a shotgun. In fact, most of the shotguns in HTVR spawn with double up buckshot. And we'll go and shoot that metal target over there. So as you can see, 10 bullet holes. Or pellet holes, I guess you can call them. So that's double up buckshot. Now, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up is the number two box shot, which is basically 18 medium-sized pellets as opposed to 10 large pellets. So, you have a little bit more of a spread, but you have a much higher chance of hitting your target. Hit that, uh, right there. See, a lot more holes. Very nice. All right, now let's move over to number four buckshot. Okay, so next up, number four buckshot. Now, this is uh, basically the game's birdshot. It's basically uh, 26 smaller pellets. Now this is normally what you'd use for like, uh, you know, bird hunting and stuff like that. But here, we should be shooting some targets. So you can see so many more impacts compared to the regular buckshot. With so many rounds, it's much more versatile than your typical assault rifle and whatnot. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up, we're doing slug rounds. Now, as opposed to normal buckshot where there's multiple small projectiles, this is one single projectile. You see right there? It's one single slug. Now this is what you use for like larger like uh, hunting game or dealing with the uh, really angry bad guy and you want to take him down with one nice shot. And you can see it hit that like a ton of bricks. Very powerful round. Now let's move some, uh, I think, a little better. All right, next up, triple hit. Now this is basically, a, I want to say, upgraded slug round. Instead of one slug, it's three smaller slugs. So uh, 
you're not gonna get much in terms of actions. I forgot to mention with the slug round, you're sacrificing spread and close quarters power with accuracy in a single projectile. Which again, use it for hunting big game or maybe a really angry person. But here, you get a little more bang for your buck. So you see three impacts instead of just one. Get that soul sick over there. Nice. Alright, next round. Alright, next up are flechette rounds. Now, this is basically a bunch of small darts instead of like uh, your traditional like uh, pellets. Now, to be honest, I'm not quite sure the purpose of these particular rounds are. I'm sure I'll post it on the video itself to clarify. Flechette rounds are designed to go through bushes or trees. It was used during the Vietnam era to take out snipers hiding in bushes. Because of their penetration factor, they do not disperse easily from foliage. These shells were nicknamed beehive rounds. But, uh, according to the wiki, these have better armor penetration than regular shotgun shells. You see? Not too many impacts, about five or six, so somewhere along the bike shot. But uh better suited for armored opponents instead of like regular soul sigs. Alright, now let's get to some fun stuff. Alright now some of you are probably familiar with this by now, Dragon's Breath. And uh for those who don't, these are basically incendiary fire shells. These are more of a novelty, uh, so, so this is something you don't normally see in combat. This is like, uh, basically something you shoot for fun, though it's pretty dangerous, naturally if you're firing like a, an arid environment with lots of dry grass, probably not a good idea to shoot this. And uh, one thing I got to mention, a few of these rounds, this, I blew the flare rounds, and uh, the uh, freedom fetty, they're low pressure rounds. Now according to the game, um, you can't use them in the semi-auto or full-auto shotguns because, well, when you fire them, they don't actuate enough pressure to actuate the bolt and uh, continue firing. Whereas it's meant for like semi-autos and even the mainly the flare gun, especially the flares. Whereas uh, according to the wiki, using any other shotgun shells that aren't low pressure in the flare gun would cause it to explode. But uh, I guess it depends on the game mode you're playing. But anyway. Let's ignite some uh, targets. See a nice little uh, fire display there. Oh yeah, limited range, so you're not gonna be sniping with this anytime soon. Nice. Yeah, very fun. Nice for uh, setting a, a zombie soul six on fire. All right, next round. Now, obviously, this shotgun shell is not really meant for combat, but it can be a lifesaver. Flare rounds. Now, uh, I mentioned the flare gun. Well, this ammo is designed for that. In case you haven't figured it out, it fires a flare into the air. Now, naturally, you're not going to use this in a combat situation. You're not going to be killing anyone with these. You mainly shoot that in the air, and it tells people where you are. It's mainly for, like, search and rescue missions, or trying to alert uh, your fellow uh, comrades there's a enemy nearby something like that but uh, you can see naturally it can hurt if you shoot someone with it but uh, again this shell not really made for combat anyway next round all right now we're giving you some really good stuff swag 12 fa is basically uh, explodes into shrapnel unlike uh, traditional shotgun shell, or, uh, no, explosion of pellets. This is explosion of fragmentation. So, uh, it can do some damage. How much? We'll find out. Like that, you see, it's basically a slug round on steroids. <laughs> slug round. Nice little explosive kicker. And uh, you can actually uh, attack from a far distance with these if you know how to aim. Now, let's get some really fun stuff. 
All right, now we're getting some really, really good stuff. Swag 12 HE, obviously high explosive. These, the real frag rounds. This is where you shoot an A at 12 and yes, the Scalpel LE, it's one of the few shotguns that spawns with a different shotgun shell. It's not double lock buckshot. It spawns with these bad boys. Why? Well... That's why. It almost looks similar to the uh, other Swag 12 rounds, but uh, these have a little more kick to them. They don't explode to shrapnel instead. Cause a nice explosion. And again, you can type from a far distance with these. Now, let's get silly. Now we got cannonball rounds. Now, despite the name, these aren't that explosive as the uh, Swag 12 rounds we fired earlier. This is more of a firework round. See? Does pack quite a ball up, though. Now, naturally, in the nighttime, you'll be fireless in the air. Have your own little fireworks display. But one thing I found out about this uh, shotgun shell when playing uh, Return to Watt Wieners, it actually blinds targets. So it's pretty handy when you're fighting uh, pacification squads and, uh, you know, something to distract them while you uh, make your escape. Or steal their uh, Sosa guns. Whichever. Nice. Alright. One more. Alright, I would definitely save the goofiest for last. Freedom Fetty. Now, this is the third of the low pressure rounds. The Dragon's Breath, the Flare, and these. Not designed to fire in a uh, full auto or semi auto shotgun. Pump action or the Flare gun. But what does the Freedom Fetty do? Well, shoots confetti. It has a small slug too, but uh, not much in terms of stopping power. It's a nice little range, though. So yeah, that's it for uh, shotgun shells. I just want to show it off because again, there's 12 different shotgun shells, and it it really adds the flexibility of shotguns. You know, plus you can mix and match. You know, if you want to put a double up buckshot first, then put like a slug round or a dragon's breath round here. You know, you can do whatever you want with the shotguns and the shells you have at your disposal. So. Uh, you have quite a lot of flexibility. You know, if you want to go close range, go with buckshot. If you want to hit longer distance, go with slug rounds or the swag 12s. Or if you just want to set your enemies on fire, Dragon's Breath is for you. Or if you want to blind your targets, Cannonball, which is a close we'll get to a uh, flashbang shotgun shells, I guess. But anyway, that's it for this uh, HDVR video. Something a little different than I normally put out. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you look forward to the next one. Till then, does the danya. I don't know what I just hit there. But yeah, does the danya.